Okay, I know it's Earth Day, but <laughs> I know. Anyways, uh, here it is. Uh, we continue with part four for this eight-part series, and next Monday is back to part five. Who knows? Trust me about that. But Friday is just another day tomorrow. Anyways, anyways, uh, now the ruling of the three. The, 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 wait, wait, three judge panel in the circuit court appeals that Manhattan that the final arguments uh, arguments of the appeals that Manhattan will remain its place with fulfillment with arguments on the issues on, uh, can be heard during the summer and uh, and and guess what it has to do deal with race and religion compares to Obama's involved in it. What happens next? Well, <laughs> you just wait and see about that. Let's get this show on the road and let's do it! It's a revolution. We will be heard. Hey, it's me, LH Music, and this is the final closing time factor of thoughts. For you know who, that's right. What you are about to hear. You know what that means. April the 22nd, Earth Day, that is, in the year 2010. And, uh, of course, you know, um, of course, you know that according to Fox News, guess what? Guess what? Acorn. Appeals, uh, appeals that um, you know who that's right. How to reinstate this, and um, that a federal court appeals that that last Wednesday temporarily blocked a judge's ruling that it was unconstitutional. Oh yeah, constitutional for Congress to cut. That's right, cut the activist group. Acorn, ah ha ha ha. Ruling by three panel judge, judge, you know what that means. During can be heard during the the summer. Now, um, Republican Daryl Issa on the House Oversight Go Government Reform and Committee, who led the charge. That's right, who led the charge against tax paper pa paying funding for Acorn and you might think he he is applauding that's right he's applying applying the court appeals a meeting meeting um addressing the you know who the effects of Judge Gershon's attempt to legislate her from the bench and he said in a statement with today's action action so what happens next? As a result, the White House and all federal agency must be extremely vigilant. So that's why Obama's up to up to uh in, get inside the community organizing group, Acorn. So I I can't understand why Obama get in the, get into this uh, Acorn business. Well, the Brooklyn judge judge uh, says that. Uh, Judge Nina Gershon has ruled twice for the six months that the funding cutoff is unconstitutional. And she said Acorn w was punished by the Congress with, without ha having gone through the process to decide whether money had been handled. Handled. See, I told you, you, told you Acorn, you wouldn't even listen, do you? You wouldn't even listen, do you? Do you? Acorn is off limits. <laughs> you don't even listen. So, I couldn't trust you. But, trust you, that means it has to be blocked off for the money. <laughs> Take that, acorn. Acorn. <sighs> and, um, and this is from according to the Wall Street Journal, has Obama gets into this uh, race stuff. This stuff. And, um, so tell me, Obama, why didn't you, why didn't you get involved with this 
Acorn Community Business. Why? Huh. Well, guess what? Guess what? According to the Wall Street Journal, this is the... I'm not going to read it all because uh, this is going to be sort of see, see this. Here it is. The political left claims to love racial diversity. Oh, really? But it barely opposes such diversity on the political right to self-interest. Back in uh, 1964, blacks have voted overwhelmingly Democrat. If the Republicans were able to attract black votes, well, guess what? Of course, of course take a five, uh, Barack, Barack Obama would have got gotten about 48 of the vote, and John McCain would be president. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. And to keep the bl voting the blacks, to keep the voting, voting, voting the blacks, voting, voting the Democrats. If it is, is it necessarily for the party, its supporters, to keep alive the, the idea that racism is prevailing America to portray the Republican Party, as well as the independent challengers to the Democrats, such as the Tea Party movement, movement as racist? But guess what? Oh, God. The election of Barack Obama made nonsense of the idea that America re remains a racist country, that they're thereby a necessary, uh, therefore, an intensive amount of uh, attacks on the uh, opposition as racist. Don't you think racist is got to got to stop? I don't care. Racist has got to stop, and this is going to be worse. And you, and religion. You talk about religion. Reverend Jeremiah Wright says he portrayed his uh, G D America or Jim Wallace, uh, Obama's spiritual advisor. What kind of world are you living in, Obama? What kind of world are you living in? This is the worst. This is the worst. You and your community organizer, organizers, and so is. That's right. Spiritual advisors, Reverend Jeremy Wright, and Father. Flager and Jim Wallace. So why is the left need it? Well, yet a opposite racism explan explanation to ignore far more obvious. So what's the obvious is? The obvious is why you you disgust me. Obama, you are. <sighs> Obama, you wouldn't dare. If I were you, Judgment Day is coming for you. And you, gonna be history. To be continued on Monday. Anyways. I'll be back Friday for an all-new Final Closing Time Factor Thoughts uh, on Friday on Ustream.com slash LH Music Time. No, it's LH Music, LH, Music, LH Music Time. Trust me about that. Make sure you check my website, LHMusicTimeFactor.Weebly.com. And so is Facebook and Twitter. Webpage is at Facebook.com slash LH Music Time. And so is You Know Who. That's right. You know what that means. Uh, oh yes, twitter.com slash LH Music Time. Uh, anyways, I gotta go. Have a wonderful weekend. Be back here on Monday for part part five of me versus Obama. Debate this. And I don't like the looks of this. So, so you just have to trust me about that and all that stuff. Anyways, I gotta go. LH Music signing off and God's blessings. Bye-bye. And you can ignore the music, theme music, whatever you